ovation for the Shred God. Big Money Poppy, Pretty Boy Flacco. How do you like Camerica? Wait, what's this? What's this new Cam Sagami? It's Camerica. Like the people that used to make the old bootleg NES games? What the hell is going on? The last time we saw Cam Sagami at Beyond Wrestling. Oh my God. At least in the studio taping would have been up against Congo. He did not fare so well. And this is a much more aggressive side of Cam Sagami. Look at him go. Oh my god, just getting peppered right now. Oh, Red God. Brandon Watt's gonna light him up. And of course, Red God's had a series of matches with AR Fox. And he has not been able to come out on top because Fox, the veteran, just keeps digging deep. He just keeps pulling a fast one on him every time. So let's see if Cam Sagami's gonna be able to take a page out of Fox's playbook or if he's gonna take a straightforward approach. You gotta wonder, after two straight losses, where's Brandon Watt's head at in here in Beyond Wrestling? He's got something to prove, man, I'm telling you. Coming back to that building, Arts at the Armory, back at Death Knell, coming back from what many said was gonna be a career-ending injury, and on top of that, coming back as a singles competitor, which he's hardly ever done until now. He wants to show that he can hang here. Wow! Sagami with the drop kick. And Brandon Watts was looking to hold on to that top turnbuckle to avoid contact on the floor. Instead, I think he put himself in a more vulnerable position. And Camerica is, uh, it's too keen to give a damn. I guess so. Cam is furious today. It's crazy. Oh, just sent him down with a stroke. Only two. Obviously, Brandon Watts missed a lot of time due to injury. But Cam Sagami's been on again, off again with Beyond Wrestling for a number of years. And we've seen Anthony Green with the modicum of success now teaming alongside Brick Mass Stone as Alpha Sigma Sigma. It's kind of like, where does that leave Cam? You know, the big thing that I think holds Cam back is he, he's a hothead. You know, as much as he hates to admit it, and I know that, you watch him in these matches. Let's look back to November with Congo. If things don't go his way, it, he just snaps. It's crazy. Well, there's a difference between being a hothead and being able to channel that sort of neg channel that negative energy, and then there's uh, kind of throwing a temper tantrum. America now winning over uh, too many wrestlers here at ringside today at the New England Pro Wrestling Academy. I mean, both these guys, young athletes, I mean, tip top shape. They both got a lot to prove. I mean, imagine right now, I mean, Brandon Watts, he's been in the spotlight for Beyond Wrestling, regardless of coming up short. Imagine if Cam Zagami pulls up the victory here. I mean, I'm taking notice to everything he's doing right now. I think it's smart, albeit a bit devious, to be focusing on the neck of Brandon Watts. Just because he got the green light from the doctors doesn't mean he's ever going to be 100%. Yeah, it shows Cam knows a thing or two about Brandon Watts. Studying up, not a bad thing to do. And you know, you want to talk about your position in wrestling. I mean, look at all the guys that came up at the same time as Cam and everything that they've accomplished under the tutelage of Brian Fury. I think that Cam wants to be in that category, and I think a lot of people Ooh. still seem maybe a step behind. Yeah, you got to think it's frustrating. You know, he came up with guys like Anthony Green, Mikey Webb, even Donovan Dijak. And you look at the successes those guys are having, and you know, he's been on the fringe, like you said, of a Beyond Wrestling spot consistently. It's just tough, and I can understand the frustration there, but like you said earlier, you gotta channel that anger. Well, dude, everybody wants to be at Beyond Wrestling. Uh-oh, a counter for the running STO? Yeah. Trying to oh, throw him like overhead. Maybe exploder suplex on the floor. Oh, that was a close call. Watts shifted his body just in a nick of time to get over that top rope. Once again, jumps to the outside. Oh, shit! Bad landing for Cam Sagami. And if anything, he should have rolled to the floor. Instead, he rolled right to the center of the ring and put himself in danger of being pinned. Both guys regaining their bearings here. Brandon Watts feeling the energy here today in North Andover, Massachusetts. Just look at the confidence, though. 
He's got the poise, he's got the personality, he's got the perseverance. Wass is just on another level right now. And Cam seems desperate. Cam's wrestling like a desperate man. Uh, Watts, though, not much strength behind those, those shots. Finally using the stronger legs to get some separation. Looking for a pin. Oh, and instead it's a chest first. That must have knocked the wind out of him. Here comes Cam. Wow! Split-legged like moonsault. Almost a W there from Comerica. Well, here's his best chance to win. He's got him by the head. Maybe looking for that Dudley dog. Brandon Watts throwing him off. Oh, wow! The extension and just crushing his head with that DDT. Quick pop-off elevation there, too, from Brandon Watts. And now, Brandon Watts going up. Shred God might be looking for that elbow drop. Watch this. Bang! Oh, picture perfect. Cam's out. And Watts picking up the victory.